Hi, my name is Lauren Singleton and I'm 25 years old. My question for you is how does temperature and wind affect traffic noise? My name is Scott Lindstrom. I work for the University of Wisconsin Space Science and Engineering Center on campus. I'm an atmospheric scientist. The main way that that happens is in very warm air, sound moves faster and in very cold air, sound moves more slowly. So here's the ground and here's your sound wave propagating and if there's a temperature gradient here if it's warmer aloft the sound will move faster as you go as you're up and higher so this the front of the sound wave will look like this after a while it's kind of exaggerated a little so what's happening is the sound is actually refracting down toward the earth so the sound will you know leave the interstate out here it'll go up into the atmosphere but it'll be bent back down to the surface so you'll hear it at quite a distance so at nighttime, it's cold at the surface. Refraction is such that it's bending toward the cold air. And during the daytime, when it's very hot at the surface, it refracts toward the cold air again, but it's going up because it's colder aloft. And this happens with more than just the highways. If you've ever seen a thunderstorm come in on a hot summer day, when it's very hot at the surface, the refraction is gonna take the sound up away from you, so you won't hear the thunderstorm until it's practically on top of you. But at nighttime, when it's cold and the refraction is back down toward the surface, you'll hear the thunder for a long distance away or your dog will hear the thunder from a long distance away and go hide in the shower or whatever. What happens when there's wind is that the wind will, because this is a, a wave propagating through the air, the wind is going to distort that. So you won't get the wave front um, all at one time, you'll get pieces of it at a time because parts of it are accelerated and parts of it slow down because the wind is not constant with height. So on a windy day, the sound is not going to propagate. It's one distinct wave, and you'll, so it won't be as distinct to hear it.